morning, Buck. I want to get him walking up, but honestly, I was getting the, his buckets prepared and everything. You ready for breakfast? You ready for breakfast? Come on. Bluey already passed by. And Alvin's already here at the spot. I gave him a few peanuts. But he's going to be up. Oh, I talked too soon. He's right there. I was going to say, I seen him go bring his nuts that I gave him earlier. He went to go bring them back home. But of course, now he's going to collect whatever falls. He picks up whatever falls. You know what's cute? Because when Buck eats his corn, Alvin sometimes will stay underneath the corn bucket and collect whatever corn falls. Oh, Buck's hair is growing back in between the middle of his hair. Wow. Oh, I'll show you guys in a minute. It looks like a lot of strands grew overnight. It's growing, actually. I see your hair growing, my big boy. Here, eat the big peanuts. Eat the peanuts, baby. The, your favorites are in there. Did Alvin come back? No, not yet. Yeah, those are all mixed peanuts. There's almonds, cashews, walnuts. Like, literally, all mixed nuts. And Buck is gonna leave behind the plain peanuts. He won't eat those. Like, he'll eat them if there's no choice. It's okay. You're okay, big boy. I know, baby. It's okay. They're not coming here. Yeah, somewhere around the block from us, they're probably doing um, the leaf blowers and the lawn mowers because I hear it. So that's why Buck is a little on high alert. But I told him it's okay because they're not close by. He won't see them. Any peanuts? And you left all the plain ones. Look, you left all the plain ones. Why? You don't like the plain ones? You don't like the plain ones? Baby. I don't see no tips on you. Yeah. Okay. You want apples? Yesterday I froze for dinner. I froze his apples for a few minutes in the freezer. Let me tell you, I noticed he really enjoyed them. I have to do them again, like today. For dinner. When I slice up his apples, I'm gonna put them in the freezer for like 15 minutes. Cause they'll get like nice and ice cold, but they won't be like frozen, frozen. But it'll be perfect. Right, my big boy. Yeah, Buck's hair is growing. It looks like it's not, but it is. You see in the middle, the patches? He has hair patches, like inside that circle. So his hair is growing back. It's just growing back slowly. But I think it's growing back slowly because you get it to spring summer coat. So the hair, like the, the thick hair, is not going to probably grow back now. Probably when he starts getting the winter coat is when we're going to start seeing that patch full up with hair around that time. Right, big boy? It's okay. You have no ticks on you, right? No, I don't see no ticks, but I see a fly. Let me get it. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. You're my big boy. Yeah, I love you too, Buck. I love you too. Sometimes I want to grab his face and like give him a kiss, <laughs> but I get nervous because of his big horns. That's no no. It's okay. That's no no. No no's going bye bye. No no's going bye bye with the car. My father in law is leaving. Those moon lowers, my god, they sound so close, but they're not. They're on the other side of this forest. It's just everything echoes in this forest. I think that's why when I scream Buck's name, it's funny because I put my hands, like I try to muffle like my voice when I'm screaming his, like I put my hands in front of my mouth when I'm screaming his name. And I feel like it echoes like even louder. Who's that, is Nono? Who's that? Is Nono? Good morning. Oh yeah. Buck, look, who's that, look, is Nono? My father-in-law just passed by. And my father-in-law sees how Buck comes every day, like every day on time. He's like amazed. He was like, wow. Like he never misses like a time. Like he comes all the time. I said, no, he comes every day. I told my father-in-law, I was like, hey, he's part of the family now. Right, Buck? 
You're part of the family now, my big boy. And it's a blessing for me to have him live, like, literally right next door to me. Because, <laughs> like, my house is, like, you know, my property's on this side, and his is right on that side, so we're literally right next door to each other. There's times that Buck comes over on my side. Not always. Mostly around spring, like, the beginning of spring, or going into spring, that's when he comes over, I noticed. But now, since I've been feeding him really good, like I give him extra snacks, let's say for breakfast or dinner, mostly dinner, like I fill him up really good for dinner, I notice he doesn't really jump over no more. Hold on, Buck. Hold on, baby. These apples went so quick, baby, because they were like medium, small apples. So I'm going to give you whatever's left. He knows already that there's nothing left. He's like, all right, Mom, you're giving me scraps. Yeah. Yeah, two more little pieces we'll put in here. Okay. And you got fresh water. You got water. You got corn. I don't see no ticks on him. Thank God. I don't see nothing. He looks pretty clean to me. I'm going to zoom in. No ticks. I never see ticks on his actual body. Like, maybe because I... Hold on, guys. If I move the camera, I'm sorry. It's a mosquito flying in front of my face. If I ever twitch the camera like this, that's because I'm moving. I'm trying to swat like a bug away from me. So I'm sorry. <laughs> not a perfect camera person. I could say that. I'm not. <laughs> but I try to capture everything. Like, you know, I try to capture a buck like really close so everybody can see him like really good. Buck, are you corn, baby? Are you corn? See, I think he wants me to sit on this side. Watch, now I'm gonna sit on this side and he's gonna go eat his corn. Cause I got up and moved over there. I was standing there. Remember what I told you the other day that if I stand there while he's eating, he don't like that cause he can't see in front of the house. Like if somebody's coming or whatever. So now I moved to the side and this is where Buck usually likes me hanging out, is here. He wants me to stay here while he eats the corn. I notice he's more comfortable. Like, he'll stay at his bucket eating the corn for like 10 minutes straight while I'm standing here. So if that makes him happy, I'll stay here. It's okay. I don't see Thumper this morning. Thumper came yesterday for dinner, but not this morning. Alvin... I think I'm surprised Alvin didn't come back to clean up these peanuts. So maybe Theodore, the other chipmunk, will come hopefully soon. Alvin must be really, really stocked. Where are you going, Buck? Who are you going, big boy? Where are you going? You have corn in a bucket. You got water. You got ice water. Oh, he's cleaning himself. I swear, deers, they're like cats. They're always cleaning themselves, always. Like before they eat, when they're done eating, or when they're just hanging out, they're always grooming themselves. That's one thing I could say. Like, I feel like deers, if anything, they have more carrot, how can I say this word? Carrot, characteristic. Yeah, like, cat, you know, you guys know what I mean. That's what happens when, you, when I grow up with immigrants. Growing up with my mom, my grandfather, like you end up talking like them <laughs> so i call myself an american immigrant because i'm really not an immigrant but i'm just saying hanging out with old old time like old schools old school italians you end up talking like them and you can't pronounce words and stuff and then you're like what the heck like i used to be able to say this word now i can't say no more so if i pronounce some words funny i'm sorry guys <laughs> but like like i was saying Buck, he has some characters of like character traits of like a cat, like the way cats are. Deers, they're very, very similar to their personality, like cats. You know the way cats like to clean themselves and they're very like skittish. They won't just come up to somebody like the way vice versa, a dog, you know, you go, you go and the dog comes right up to you. Deers are very different. I feel like they're more like, I feel like more like a cat. <laughs> just big, they're big, big, big. Like, he's a big boy. When I stand next to him, his head, well, now with his antlers, he towers over me. Right, Buck? Did you eat the rest of peanuts? Oh, he just cleaned up all the peanuts, actually. You cleaned up all the peanuts? Come here, big boy. 
Come here. Come here. And now he's listening to the noise of the lawnmower. I hear it. I hear it. Come here, Buck. Where's my big boy? He's shedding. I see some loose hairs. That's why I would love to brush him. I wish he would make me brush him. He's starting to get used to me, like, touching his actual body. Because I've been, every time I, when he's like close up to the fence and I pet his face, I do it on purpose. I stop petting his neck and like, you know, touching him lower to get him used to me touching his body. Because once he gets used to me touching his body, I want to invest in like a good, like, you know, like um, a flea comb or something and start combing him every day. Oh, I would love that. And I know he would probably feel so much better. All right, Buck, you have to let me do it, big boy. He's like, Mom, I'm good. His antlers are so beautiful. So beautiful. It's crazy how long they got, my God. When he sheds, the day that he sheds his, the, like that week when he sheds his antlers, he's gonna look, oh my God, so mean. Like his face, when he ends up getting that winter coat, I notice sometimes when he's walking up, like, he's, I'm not saying he's mean, he's not mean, but like his face, he looks mean. Like if he would be so mean, like looking at him, it's like a little bit like, oh my God, but he's a gentle giant. Well, to me, he is, not to everybody. I know Buck, when he sheds his antlers, I notice for some reason, I swear, I feel like Buck's like, they're smart. He must know that when he has the other antlers, like the regular one, like when the velvet comes off, he must know that he could use those as a weapon. Because he's less, not that he's not scared, like he still, he still gets scared, but I notice like he stomps his feet more. Like he'll try to imitate, like uh, what's it called? Like square up, like you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, I'm not scared. Come here, come here. I wanna pray you, Buck. Come here. You see what I mean? Ears, it's not like a dog or a cat. He can't just be like, mm, come here. He won't, he's not gonna come. He has a different whole language to talk to him. Right, Buck? Our language is totally different. Like the way I talk to him is totally different from how I talk to my dog. With him, it's I gotta constantly ensure him that he's okay. Right, Buck? It's okay. Come here. Right now he's cleaning himself. Come here, big boy. This morning it was raining. I heard it's supposed to thunder later. So I hope the weather doesn't get bad, like bad. Oh, a little a squirrel popped up. Oh, how cute. The way he's looking, he's just looking at us. So cute. Yeah, he hit the lawnmowers. Is that your friend, Buck? Where you going, baby? Where you going? You see now he'll eat the corn because I'm sitting here. And that's where I was gonna have the corn because I scattered some corn on the floor before I dumped some corn into Buck's bucket. Because I figured if the squirrels come and the rabbits, like they could have some because they love the corn too. Everybody loves the corn in here. Even the chipmunks love the corn. That's what I'm saying. Like I can, ma I can imagine Alvin's stockpile how big. Like I would love, to I gotta Google to see like what chipmunk stockpiles, like what they look like in the dirt. I would love to know. I can just imagine. Buck is eating now. Where's my big boy? Come here. You're my baby. You're my big boy. I have the camera a little zoomed, guys. I'm sorry. I have to unzoom it. But it's going to be hard for me to get this hand now. Right? Because then this hand becomes yours. It becomes yours. And this is a close-up of Buck's face. I love the black hair in the middle of his head. I think it's, it's so cute. It makes him look so handsome. He's so handsome. I feel like I always do. But I really, my father used to push his hair back like that. Like he used to have dark, 
black hair and like used to push it all back, like brushing it back. Every time I see Buck's hair, it reminds me of my father's hair. Because <laughs> my father had like black thick hair and he used to just comb it going like a pushback. You can't get my ring. You can't get my ring. You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Oh, these are all the kisses that I'm getting. Right, these are all the kisses I'm gonna get. Cause now Buck likes giving me morning kisses and then after dinner kisses or sometimes they'll be like before dinner kisses. I think this is Buck's way of showing like, you know, that he cares about me and like he thanks me. I really do feel that. Right? You thankful? Oh, I'm thankful for you too. Having Buck in your life is like having, I don't know, like it's just so peaceful. Right? It's so peaceful. I don't know how some people could hurt an animal like you because you're so beautiful. And it's, and he's like so kind. But I want to see this year how he acts. No biting. No biting. Oh, he was trying to bite my mosquito bite. I have a mosquito bite in my arm and he was trying to bite it. You can't bite my mosquito bite. You can't bite my mosquito bite. You see how he keeps trying to use his teeth? Like he tries to nibble like me. You can't bite. No biting. Ears don't bite. Hold on. I have it too zoomed. Okay. Yeah, he was trying to bite that mosquito bite right there. I felt his teeth like scraping against it. I'm like, no, like, yeah, it feels good. You're scratching it, but no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You can't use your teeth, mister. No teeth. Use your tongue, no teeth. And then when I go inside the house, I gotta wash my hands and my arms because it's like slobbery, right? Because it's slobbery, but it's okay. It's worth all the slobbers, <laughs> right? I'm gonna pay you. Yeah, let me pay you, <laughs> see? He doesn't want me petting his pet. Not that he doesn't want me petting his head, but he, he wants to keep doing this. Why can't I pay you? Let me pay you. Oh, my baby. He's such a good boy. Oh, his neck feels so warm. His neck feels so warm. Yeah. You love my hand? You love my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my big boy. I love you. I love you. Who is it? This is all the kisses I get from Buck. He gives me love every day now. Every day. I think now I feel it. That Buck officially, officially, like, looks at me like, he's like, okay. I know I could trust her. Like, she's my best friend. Right, Buck? I feel it. I could feel like his calmness. Like I could tell like when he gets nervous, when he's scared, like I could just, I could see it. And I could feel his tension, you know? Like I could read him, right? I could read you now. At first, the first year he came by, when the first year he came to me, I couldn't really understand his personalities. Like, you know, if he was scared, if he wasn't scared. But then you see how he's making me pet his neck right now? Good boy. Oh my God. And petting him, look, you'll get dirt on your hand. They're full of dirt. That's because he scratches himself with his feet. So that's why he has dirt all over his body. Because then you have dirt on your feet, stuck on your feet, and then it goes all over your body. That's why I wish mommy could give you a bath. I wish. Oh my God. I wish you would make me imagine. <laughs> Yo, seriously, I would grab like an oatmeal, like an oatmeal soap, like baby oatmeal soap. And I would put in a bucket of water and I'd keep like two buckets here of water. Alvin was just in the bucket. He just jumped out. That's why Buck did that. But right now he's so excited. He's in a good mood today. You're in a good mood. And you see what I mean when I stand here? He'll sit there at his corn bucket and just literally eat all his corn. That's what he did yesterday morning. He finished all his corn before he left. There was no corn left in that bucket. And I, I like that when he does that, because then I know he's eating like, you know, the whole meal, the whole scoop. He's filling himself nicely up and then he comes by again for dinner. He's listening. Right now he's looking at the squirrel. Why are you going to stand in that position, in that spot? He stands in that spot and then I can't get him, you know? 
it's like you I have to record it in between a tree okay guys this sucks this pole right here it was like this for years like years like it been in the dirt for years and then my father-in-law like you know started piling like metals and things like on top of it I can't take it out man it's so hard not even my husband couldn't pull that out like it's so hard it's like stuck in between like the fence and the dirt because once when buck has not these antlers when he has the other ones when the velvet comes off once in the blue he'll bang into this pole once in the blue oh my god he's walking up to the squirrel oh god, that's so cute i feel like buck tries to hang out with all the little ones it's so cute but i feel like buck probably doesn't realize how big he is you know I don't think he gets it <laughs> that he's so big because sometimes he'll try to walk and eat next to the squirrels and the rabbits and they'll hop away and they'll get away from him. Sometimes the bunny, Dumper, is actually starting to get used to Buck. Dumper's actually, if you notice on my videos, Dumper's actually starting to move closer and closer to Buck when he comes around. So I think all the little ones are starting to realize like, okay, he's a gentle giant. He won't hurt us. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to get going because this video already went past the 20 minute mark. My goal was to make a 20 minute video this morning, you know, depending on how long I was going to stay out here. But now I know I'm over 20 minutes, which is fine. You guys know that I always I don't care. Like I'll make long videos. If sometimes the only way I'll make a short video is if Buck hangs out with me, literally, because by the time I'm recording, it's like me, you know, being here with him. So if the video is ever 12, 13 minutes and then it ends, it'll be either because he left early or like I have to go run inside, get more food or something. But I'm going to get going because I'm sure he's getting going. That's why he gave me all those kisses probably. <laughs> Let me see if he ate all this corn. I don't know. He left a lot of it. He has to come back anymore. But I'm going to get going now. I will be back later for Buck's dinner video. Oh my god, I want to see later if the raccoons pop out again. Hopefully not. I mean, they're so cute, but you know what it is? Like I told you guys, if I become friends with a raccoon family, I know me. I'm going to get attached to them then, you know? And I don't think my in-laws will be excited about having raccoons popping up over here, like, you know, close to the house. Because God forbid then those raccoons would try to come out any time of the day, you know? He's already rubbing? Oh yeah. On the thinnest branch, he's too funny. That's another thing that's the funny thing about Buck. He will rub his antlers on the smallest branches and like tree stubs. Instead of doing like a thick tree like that, he would go on those little ones. He's rubbing. Baby, you started rubbing. All right, everyone. I'll be back later. Hope you guys have fun with me watching. But I will be back later. I hope everybody has a great day. And ciao for now. And I think Buck is coming back to me. There's so many chipmunks. I see so many chipmunks right now. All right, guys. I'll be back later with another video. Thank you for everyone that watches. And thank you. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to my pay my channel. You guys are going to fall probably fall in love with Buck. He's a big gentle giant. But... I want to share Buck with everybody to share.